Hey guys, welcome to the Learning Hub. My name is Ankit and today we will be learning how to create a 2D polygonal animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's jump into the tutorial but before that make sure to hit that subscribe button and just have a look at what we will be creating today. So guys, let's jump into the, uh, into the tutorial now. So we will start by making a new composition and make it 1920 by 816 pix uh, 16 pixels long. I will name it main M A I N and create a new solid. I will name it original. Go to effects panel, right click go to generate and click on gradient ramp first change the center and i will make it like that leave it linear increase the ramp scatter to 50 and now the time to change colors i will start it with the blue again click on that eyedropper and change it to a little dark okay once you've done that minimize that and we're gonna make uh, apply a new effect to it you many of you might know about that but go to generate and here you will see cell pattern click on that it will start with a very very strange ball so we can change them don't worry about that click in here and change it to crystallize hq so you might be able to see these lines so these are pretty small in here so we will change the size to 200 so maybe 150 i guess i'll make it around 115 that's better and after that we want them to animate so you just have to click on this evolution stopwatch and leave it here on zero and make it 120 180 so now what will happen is they'll start moving as you can see here so we have created a much of this tutorial so now what you have to do is import the audio and disable it we just need the sound so what we will do is go to the audio and click in here so you will start seeing the waveform so uh, this is an audio like uh, in which there are beats so i suggest you to choose the audio which has these kind of wave so that we can easily animate them what we need to do is just we have to click the original and when the beat starts like in here press ctrl shift d so what will happen is it will change its color again same thing come here ctrl shift d again come here ctrl shift d and keep doing that i'll fast forward it see guys now we have almost many layers nine different layers but it seems like the one layer because we have just sliced it from in between so now what we do, uh, need to do is select first layer and go to the gradient ramp and we need to change the color we will start by red and keep changing this color only so it will be more good to you we have started with the red and now we are done go to the pink if you want again click on here A 
again change the color we already have a blue again come here blue done now come to green and again the green is done so come to yellow I'll come to orange like this you need to change the color so it will start being animated you won't even recognize that because we just have sliced the layers and the animation is still pretty amazing I guess just a moment I'll change all the colors now I will change it to gray and I'll make it last not the least so this is the last I'll make it way better than anything else please be online yes i guess it's so uh, better so what we need to do is just play this so guys this is the animation we had to create and we have created it and a very less time so one more thing i'd like to tell you is uh, if you want you can input your logo in here and you can animate it as you want but these kind of backgrounds can be used anywhere uh, for motion graphics and wherever you want them so guys thank you for watching this video please make sure to subscribe to this channel and come back soon